Viewers, the situation in West Asia remains tense since Hamas militants attacked Israel on the 7th of October. And of course, Israel has retaliated very, very strongly ever since with bombing the Gaza Strip as it fights to eliminate the militant group. But as the war approaches the one month mark and Yemen's Houthis have started attacking Israel, there are fears that more players from across the region might join the war to fight Israel. Who are these players? Who else can get involved? Let's start right off. We're talking about Iran's axis of resistance. It is a multi-pronged network of different forces across West Asia resisting Western powers and Israel. It is an informal, loose-knit alliance that includes both Sunni and Shia Muslim groups. And the alliance includes governments in Yemen, Syria, Lebanon, Gaza and Iraq. The group is supported to varying degrees by Iran. The Iranian regime and its Quds force, a subset of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, has grown this network. Interestingly, the term axis of resistance is believed to have emerged in response to the former American President George Bush's use of the term axis of evil. Now, let's take a look at the, at the members of the group. The axis includes the Lebanese militant group and Shia political party Hezbollah. Hezbollah operates both as a Shia Muslim political party and militant group. It wields significant power, especially in southern Lebanon, and is active along Israel's northern border, where tensions have been building since the October 7th attacks. Now, Yemen's Houthi rebels, they also come under the same axis of resistance. They are a formidable part of the axis of resistance. The Houthis have fought a civil war against Yemen's government, which is backed by Saudi Arabia. And this has happened for nearly a decade. The Houthis have demonstrated their missile and drone capabilities during the Yemen war. And the Houthis have rallied behind the Palestinians since Hamas attacked Israel on October 7th. Now, the access of resistance also comprises militias in the influential Iran-backed popular mobilization forces in Iraq. It was formed to help fight ISIS in 2014. They participated in the campaign against IS and took over control of the Iraqi sections of the land bridge in 2017. Moreover, the new alliance was dominated from the outset by the militias loyal to Iran. Then comes the Badr organization, which is particularly strong, having emerged from an Iraqi exile unit within the Revolutionary Guards. It has become the most important instrument of the Quds Corps in Iraq today. Now, as fears are mounting that these forces might all join the war together in West Asia, Yemen's Iran-backed Houthi rebels have said that they had attacked Israel on Tuesday. They say that a large batch of ballistic missiles and a large number of armed drones were fired at Israel. The Houthi rebels have pledged more attacks against Israel if Israel's war on Hamas in Gaza continues. While experts believe that the unity of fronts of Iranian-backed proxy groups is a kind of NATO for militant groups in the region who will provide military support should any member or any other member of the group face an existential threat. It's on the same basis as NATO. You attack one, you attack them all. We're seeing a similar trend right here.